All right, guys, so. Let's see if we can get to where you guys can see my feet. Uh, how's it going? Tony Maritato here. So this is one of my favorite ways to show you how to measure improvement. You can't measure exact range of motion when you're at home, but you can measure progress. And I think that's a really important indicator of, are you doing the right thing? Do you need to change things up? How do we know if we're getting better or not? So really simple. I'm inside a hallway here. I've got a wall on either side of me. I'm sitting in a chair. Any standard chair will work. Let's pretend for a minute that I've had a right total knee replacement. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn so I'm facing the wall. Now, depending on what your existing range of motion is right now, let's pretend that you're not sure if you're at 90 degrees, past 90 degrees. So what this does is it allows me an objective measure I could even use a, a ruler if I'm going to use the cord for my mic here a, for a second. Let's pretend this is a flexible ruler. And what I can do is I can go from the wall to the front of my knee and let's say I'm measuring it at 10 inches. Okay. Day number one, I come in here. We're going to do a contract relax exercise where basically what I'm doing is I'm pushing my toe into the wall. You might be able to see that knee kind of get tight. I hold that position five to 10 seconds, then I relax. I can do it two or three times, I scoot in, I push against the wall, five to 10 seconds, relax. Once I've done this, maybe five repetitions, I can either scoot my hips forward by leaning back, or I can just slide forward in the chair, whatever's more comfortable for you. Now what I would do is I would take my tape measure, I'd measure, and now let's say I'm measuring six inches. I know objectively that I've made improvement. That is a huge benefit. Knowing the progress is half the battle. Now, as long as my toe is always against the wall and I'm sitting in the same chair, I'm gonna be at the same position every time. So as long as I can continue to shrink the distance between my wall, the wall on the front of my knee, I know that I'm making progress. Let's say, for example, I overwork the knee one weekend. I just get crazy, too excited, I do too much. Now my knee is more painful, more swollen. I try to get into that position and I go from 10 inches to 12 inches. Well, that's your sign that you're doing too much. Probably the biggest indicator of range of motion getting worse is doing too much and not having enough recovery time. You know, I had a great conversation with an individual uh, yesterday. It was actually the inspiration for this video right now. And she was, I think, four or five months post-op, really struggling to get the range of motion that she needed, uh, relayed a story that I hear a lot. And the story was when she goes to therapy, she becomes so inflamed and painful and swollen and sore that for the next one or two days, she can barely do any of her exercises. Now, I know there are a lot of amazing, well-intentioned physical therapists out there, and they only have an hour or two hours a week with you, so they tend to do a little too much, more than your body can tolerate. So what I wanna to explain to you is, take the situation in a different context for a minute. Let's pretend you have an athlete, high school football player, and they go to the gym and they overtrain. If they overtrain, it takes longer for them to recover between workouts. If they overtrain, they're, they're in pain, their muscles actually hurt, their muscles are swollen, their muscles are sore, they cannot perform, they can't lift the same weights or play the game as well the day after a training session in which they overtrain. If they undertrain, they don't get better. Right? If they do too much, they get worse. If they don't do enough, they don't get better. We need the Goldilocks effects. We need to find that space right in the middle where it's just right. Enough to stimulate improvement, not so much to increase inflammation. And only you are the judge of that. Only you will know, are you doing enough? Are you doing too much? Are you doing too little? And it could vary day to day, week to week. 
So you just have to adjust. If you have a night where you're sleeping terribly, maybe you didn't eat as well as you should have, maybe you got a little dehydrated, your ability to tolerate your exercise program the next day is gonna decline. You just can't do it. But if you're eating great, you're enjoying the beautiful weather, it's spring, if you don't have allergies and you're outside and get a little sun on your face and you're eating well and sleeping well, you would be shocked at how much more you can do. So I want you to understand there's lots of factors that come into play. You have to take context, environment, you have to take stress and, and all of these other things into account when you're creating a program for your total knee replacement rehab. Don't just think, well, it's a knee, it goes straight and it bends. The more I do it, the better I'm gonna be because it's not like that. You know, if it was that simple, everybody would have a great outcome. It's not. There's lots of complicating factors in there. So guys, take a minute, give this exercise a try. Sit in a chair, face the wall, measure the distance from the front of your knee to that wall, and your goal is to work a little bit closer each time. If you find that you can't do it, that means you're overtraining. If, it's, if you're not doing it enough, you're undertraining. But at the end of the day, I hope these videos are helpful and useful for you. Please post a comment to let me know if you've tried this, how it works for you. There's other ways you can do this, but I'll share those in other videos. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please take a minute and subscribe. You know, the greatest gift you can give me if these videos help you is to become a subscriber on the channel because that helps us reach more people, help more people, and get the information out to a larger audience. In the meantime, I'm gonna get back to work on some new videos. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.